one of the most delightful meals you can make in your Emerald Lagasse Power Air Fryer 360 is delicious rotisserie chicken. Let's now review how to get the chicken tied up so that it rotates properly on the rotisserie and does not hit the top, bottom, or sides of the unit. We'll start with a four pound chicken and food grade butcher's twine or cooking string that you can find in most supermarkets. First, we'll fold the wings under to make the chicken thinner on the spit. Then, we'll tie the chicken in three places. To do this, wrap a length of the string around the chicken legs to hold them tightly together when the rotisserie is spinning. Tie the string tight with a simple knot or bow. And then snip off the excess with cooking shears or a sharp knife. Now wrap a length of string around the thighs so that they don't fall down when the chicken is spinning. Tie this tight with a simple knot or bow. And snip off the excess string. Finally, wrap a length of string around the wings so that they don't fall down when the chicken is spinning. Tie this tight with a simple knot or bow. And cut off the excess string. Now pierce through the middle of the chicken with the rotisserie spit and one prong attached. Insert the points of the prong into the chicken. Now take the other prong and place it on the other end of the rotisserie spit. Insert the points of the prong into the chicken and then tighten the locking screw that holds the prong on the rotisserie spit. Check to make sure the chicken is tied so that the wings, thighs, and legs won't hit the top, bottom, or sides of the unit. Make sure to adjust the prong so that the chicken is centered on the spit. There should be the same amount of empty space on either side of the spit. Now to insert it into the Power Air Fryer 360 while it's cool, you can use your hands or tongs. Warning, if your Power Air Fryer 360 is not cool to the touch, do not use your bare hands to insert your rotisserie. If it's hot, you could get burned. If you do use your hands, lift the chicken and make sure it feels balanced on the spit. If you use tongs, squeeze the chicken and rotisserie spit in the middle to get a firm grip when you lift it. Now, insert one point of the rotisserie bar into the rotisserie driver on the left, and then slide the other side into the preset groove on the right. Now you're ready to activate the rotisserie and watch it spin. Once your chicken is done, to remove the unit, simply secure the chicken and the rotisserie bar with tongs and lift it out. Now simply remove the rotisserie spit by loosening the holding screw on one end of the rotisserie and removing the prong. Then simply take the other end and slide the entire rotisserie bar and prong from the chicken. Now simply use kitchen shears or scissors to cut the string holding the chicken and remove it from the chicken. Remember, the food will be hot when cooked, so always use protective mitts or a dish towel to protect your hands from burns. And that's all you need to know to tie a chicken and cook it rotisserie style in your Emerald Lagasse Power Air Fryer 360.